hi friends welcome to all so today in this video you will learn how to deploy a pod using a yaml code so we can write a yaml code in a normal notepad also but in this video i will demonstrate how we can write a code using a ide so here we will use a ide uh, for example visual studio code so first we will install a visual studio code and after that we will do some settings there and uh, we will write a code so let's go for a lab so first we need a browser so here okay so here you need to search visual studio code so we need to download it here so it is official website here first let me click on it here so here if you click on it here it will it will start to download so already i have downloaded it here so i will show you i will install directly from there okay so if you click on here it will start download okay now i can see it started a download but uh, i will pause it or let me cancel it here uh, because already i have this package so here okay so now accept next and uh, next okay so create a desktop icon and next install now installation has been completed let me click on a finish and here it will automatically launch because here uh, having a check mark okay so here uh, we need to click on here extension and uh, we are writing a code in yaml so we need to find out here yaml let's find out here so now click on here you will see and here red hat so what we will do we will install this extension here so let me click on install so it will take some time it's depend upon our network bandwidth okay now it's done here okay so now once it is installed here so we need to do some uh, settings okay uh, click on here and uh, we need to click on extension setting and uh, here here yaml schemas so we need to find out and click on edit setting and here okay this is a by default you will find out and uh, here so we will write a code for a kubernetes so we will click on uh, we will and make a enter here and uh, let me type a kubernetes and here uh, it is a case and stiff so uh, here all the characters uh, all the characters must be in small letters only and star dot yaml okay so that is the changing we need to do here only so make sure you, you don't have do any mistake in spell mistake in kubernetes okay so now once we completed and let me closed it here so it will ask me for save let me saved it here and uh, i need to restart this visual studio code let me closed it here okay so now let me open it again okay fine okay so we will add a one folder here and uh, let's create a here folder um so let me create a new folder here so we will writing a yaml code so let me type yaml okay yes okay so now i've created a folder here so here i will create a new file here inside here and uh, now we will deploy a pod so deploy underscore pod dot yaml so extension must be yaml here okay and now so here let's write let's start the code here so first uh, we need to here write a api version okay so now it is giving us a 
here now you can see hint and now uh, let's uh, let's me give here b1 so it is your choice either you can give here like app app one apps uh, slash v1 also it's up to you either you can give a v1 or here so this is a api version we are giving okay and now after that now uh it's the root level properties so now after that uh i need to use a k i press a k it automatically give me a hint here so let me select a kind here okay so in a kind uh so what we want to do here like pod or service or replicate set or deployment so here we want to do a pod so here if i press a control space bar so it will give me a hint here so let me find out a po so it's giving me a hint, hint here so now we can select here pod so right now i just want to show you how to deploy a pod using and here you can take a set as well also replica set but uh, in this video i just want to show you only pod here okay so let me select here now and after that we need to select a metadata here now it automatically it comes here and uh, now here you will see uh when i used a control space bar automatically it's giving me these hints here okay so let's select a name so name what i want to here uh let me I, I will deploy here nginx here so let me given a name nginx here and now alt space war and uh, another one let me select a labels and uh, here uh, a app and uh, app i will use here nginx here and it must be in a dictionary and let me use a here uh here you can uh, select here tire uh means uh what do you like to use in front end or back end so nginx i want to use a front end so it's a it is optional uh front hyphen and or either you can use a back end if it is a database okay you can choose accordingly and okay so here uh i will let you know these uh uh here api version and the pod these are uh, string and uh, here in metadata all these are in dictionary format dictionary format so dictionary format means key key and value okay so now let's do a here uh so here indent engine must be here suppose uh if i'm doing any mistake here so it will highlight it here now see so right now i have i did a mistake here so it give us a indent engine error here so indent engine must be here so either it will give it give us a error here so this it's showing us a error so let me complete it a here so let me give a space here okay now it's looking fine okay so now and after that last one is a spec and now when i did a, a enter automatically it take a container and hyphen name i have not given here automatically taken here okay so name is a i will give the same name nginx and uh, let me make a enter and after that uh, in uh, here in intention we need to take care it must be and uh, now let's do a image and uh, here uh, uh image i will choose the nginx here so this image must be make sure it should be on your uh, docker.hub.com okay so docker dot hub that is official website so it it it, it will be downloaded from there so it must be there either it will throw it will throw a say error here is suppose if it's not there okay now we have completed this part here let's let me save it here now i save this code here okay so now let me open a command prompt here cmd uh how we can uh deploy a pod using this code so we can use a kubectl command and uh, after that i will use a apply 
and hyphen f I, I need to mention the file name so where is this file here so let's check the file let's take the file path also so this file path is inside a d drive and a d drive we have created a yaml code and so this is a path here so let me click on here and uh, let me take this path and here or either you can click here and uh, you can click on property and here this path it will show here also okay and okay. so it's up to you how you want to take the path and here and let me give the complete here so name of the file also so this is the name of the file okay so before uh, deploy this one i will show you their pod is running in this uh, here or not so let me show you here uh, i opened a new tab here so let's check a cube ctl and i will use a command get to check the parts uh, earlier there are, there is any pod or not so you can see there is no pod deployed here so i will deploy using this command here okay now pod has been created here and now let me check it here so now uh now it's a created here and it's not in a ready state it will take uh, some time here so let's wait for that time now again i have uh, run this command now it is in ready state now you can see it is in ready state here okay so let me rerun this command again i can see it is in ready state here okay so uh we have used a apply command here uh, so it is up to you either you can use a apply or either you can use a create instead of apply you can use a create so both will work okay so okay so now uh let me maximize it here okay so now uh, let's use a cube ctl describe uh, pod and pod name what is the pod name is a nginx here okay now now i can see here uh so here it will give the more information here and uh, now i can see here uh we deployed a level here and the tire front end and you can see here and naming we have given nginx here and uh, node where is running on a mini cube okay so how to install a mini cube you can watch my previous lecture okay i will put in i button here and here it is the ip here you can see the ip and the container id you can see nginx and the container about a container information okay so thanks all for watching this video so we will meet in next video